must protect the wild. The light shall bring victory. Keeping a death against a uh, druid might be a good idea. Oh, in fact, the pain would be good against the narcissist pirate now. Wow, this is a weird hand. No, the death's probably too early. Wow, this hand is... This hand is boss. Coin Wrath is almost certainly a mistake because there's no way I could have gotten value out of the cleric on turn one, so it feels like it's too hastily done. Elune, guide my lands. Um I should have two choices here. I'll let him get the mana. Because I basically save a card. Well, the only good news is he didn't use the mana. Druids have a tough time dealing with the high health in the need. I think I go face here. Now if I go face he can just do this. Oh, but I can go face and heal this. Mixed strategy. Or I can uh, use this against that. Leave myself with a 4-1. This guy can continue nuking. That might make more sense. This always happens though, the heal. I think this is right. Choosing not to play this actually could have been a pretty big mistake. It's just they do have the keeper to steal, but... Mm. Ouch. Let me change your Inconsistent, Lois. Yeah, I should have played this last turn. Then I could have uh, contested this Azure Drake. Mind control again. Well, that works. I mean, I'm not sure why I'm groaning at that. That's less bad than quite a few things that could happen. Especially if there's no savage run. 
This game might come down to me losing because I did not play Cabal Shadow Priest on a turn where I had uh, six mana available. But this is pretty good. Um, a little bit afraid of this in case he has MCT. Seems like the type of deck that might run it. Should be nearly out of stuff. It wasn't a very strong turn by him. I'm feeling that deck having MCT. I sense it. But I might need this like push through something. Oh, it's such a tough call. There's so many cards in his hand though. And it seems like he must have situational cards. It feels like he has situational cards. I must safeguard the land. No. Is someone injured? Should heal this first to draw an extra card. Unless I think I'm going to top deck a win, but that's impossible. But I might top deck something that takes like 5 mana to play. It's possible. I think I'm going to uh, avoid playing a 4th minion. It, it really feels like MCT. Given that his last two turns have been, like, that bad. <laughs> Good old force of nature, force of nature into a double savage roar on three different turns. No, that's too slow. When I think about Paladin, I play this uh, Injured Blade Master without a combo piece and I just lose to like a 3-2. A it's usually the Knife Juggler. Probably play this uh, as a 3-2. Depends on what he does. Okay, it's a Secrets Paladin. Um, hmm. Yeah, I have to start contesting now. Um, this allows me to not die to Noble Sacrifice, but it's most likely Avenge if played on turn one. Hmm. Could be Redemption into uh, Shielded Minibot. It's quite possible. This is really good. Hmm. Then again. Getting 3 damage in on his face is worth very little. It's like almost a free 3 damage, but this game is almost never going to come down to how much health he has, and if it is Noble Sacrifice, I'll have lost a guy, which is not good. So I'm going to, uh... Like, most of the time I miss 3 damage here, but... I'm just going to play around the very unlikely possibility, because this game never comes down to a race. It very rarely comes down to us. So that thing could become a seven, uh, seven five. It's too scary. Could steal this and uh, hmm. and then just pray it's able to run into this. Wow, that would be quite a prayer, though. Well, I'd be always lucky. Hmm. It'll almost always be able to kill this at least. Alright, we're gonna take a chance here. Man, this is... 
Yeah, needless to say, this is risky. There we go. All right, perfect. Redemption. Hmm. That's too bad. Wow. I'll never tell. Reporting for duty. Hmm, that's nice competitive spirit there. Reporting for duty. Feeling the pain. Let us see if this works. Let's uh, let's get to it. So hopefully the Avenge hits the six six. Yeah, that's pretty much the hope. There's going to be a repentance and a competitive spirit on top of that. Oh, that's rough. Alright. I walked into all of them, but there was nothing I could do. His deck's usually pretty good against that one. I'd say the main problem was he got a redemption off on his Shredder, which was a really good Shredder. Holy smite for the Undertaker. Is someone in there? Even though I just got destroyed by a Secrets Paladin, I am really, really happy to face off against Secrets Paladins, I think. I think that's uh, going to be a pretty big plus on this deck if that deck is really popular because. Priest does uh, deal with that pretty well. Dragon Priest, I think, does with deals with it even better, but that I'm not really sure on. Right away. I have to think about the redemption. I will right actually away. do this and not trade. Now I will smite in Circle of Healing. Uh, couldn't pull the trigger. Oh, it's that. Okay. That's pretty good for me. Reporting for duty. Right away. 
That's pretty unexpected. I'm gonna take the pain one turn so I can MCT. Strange timings to play these secrets. Alright. Good. I guess it's not so strange. On turn six, it could be expected that I'd play like a four or five or something. Alright. Four of them. I think I can expect Repentance to not be one of them, but that's no guarantee. Shrinkmeister, Shrinkmeister Pain is possible, and then that would make that a 4-3 guaranteed. Uh, seems okay. There's Repentance, alright. I'll give him a 6-1. Should be okay. No? Well, that's good. So, Noble Sack and Competitive Spirit, exactly. Unless one of them is Eye for an Eye. Oh, crap! Rip Tiger. I'm so sorry, Tiger. That's on me. What is this? That's oh, competitive spirit. Let's get physical. I actually intended to cabal Shadow Priest, the guy. And I'm like, oh, but I have to kill it first so I can heal. Wait, why didn't I play this? I am... I'm actually a little bit out of it. Wait, did I have enough... did I draw it? No, I... Okay. Whatever. My deck's really good against Secrets Paladin. Well met. I should assume he has both redemptions in his hand. Reporting for duty. Let me change your mind. Right away. The victory is yours. Let the hunt. Begin. The light shall bring victory. Wow, that's a hand. Is someone injured? Oh my gosh. If this survives, I'm in. I'm so in. Oh, um, what could this be? Freezing? Should I not? Just to, but this is also pretty good to trigger with freezing. Well, I should do this first anyways. <laughs> Snipe, that would 
be hilarious. Would actually not be that funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's either bear or explosive. I was expecting freezing. Right away. Okay, so that's bare, because explosives didn't go off. Do I want a bear right now? I don't think I really want a bear. Skip a Rooney. This pushes it out of uh, several things. Job done. <laughs> Can play this and heal again. Puts it out of uh, kill command range. That's fine. Is someone injured? This is the uh, stronger play, but this plays around the card I'm afraid of. And I'm perfectly okay to just play the waiting game. This is actually why Bear Trap ended up not being as good as I thought it would be, I think. Because you could just always choose not to face. With the decks, I don't really care about face. Alright, if I had any spell, I would be able to crush him here. Any spell that could be cast, but I don't. And that's out of range of Cabal now. You can just, uh, yeah, this will be fine. Do I have anything better? I don't think so. Let me change your mind. Your turn to bleed. Right away. Okay, so Pyro um, Shadow Word Death is looking pretty good. Do I want to attack face first? No. Alright, I think it's finally time to spring the trap. Right away. The bear. With charge. Yikes. You know, I actually could have not sprung the trap. And it would have looked a lot better for me. It's like maybe I was still too impatient. It's pretty insane. Card left, and I am a priest, so. And taunt. I'm not sure him trading there was right. Double quick shot. What the? What kind of garbage play was that? Are you kidding me? He's sad. Right. I think I am at a slight advantage if I kill this off. 
Um, since I should be able to set up 17 for next turn. 6, 11, 14. Uh, 17, Ooh. yeah. Beasts in the higher could ever hope to have. Well I can see. Okay, with that I have enough gold to do my arena. Um, I'm going to choose Rogue if possible, due to those quests. Darn. Let's see. Shaman, Paladin, Priest. It's none of these. Priest, it is. I won't let you down. Curse you, Hafu. I must have misplayed one of them. Did you think I was going to misplay? Grr. They were all close, these games. It was fun. Except that last one. The last one wasn't that close. Oh, I got a Galvins versus Gnomes pack. It's actually a pretty good pack. There's no way I'm uh, completing a dragon deck, so we'll get rid of that one. When did I get an Alex Straws as champion? Oh, right, in the pack. Yes. Uh, flying machine. Rip. See if I can get uh, 25 more dust. I think I have one card that I want to craft Light of the Naru. Is there anything else, though? This deck's really starting to get very close to uh, how I want it to be. It, it comes down to whether or not I want another Shadow Madness, I think. I don't think a second Shadow Madness is that good. I'm glad I didn't end up crafting it. Yeah, I think I should take a Light of the Naru. A Thought Steal is possible, also. And then, if I were to do Thought Steal, I'd probably replace Mind Control with Shadow or Death. It, it's getting to be very close to that time. Mm, yes, sir. I think the fourth slot is a bit heavy. Maybe I take out Ascension. MCT. Tiger's been putting in work. Yeah, this is getting to the tough part. I'm not sure what gets removed for Lie of the Nairu. All these cards are like kind of reasonable now. Probably mind control tech. This doesn't hit that often. Eh, but it's so many paladins out there also. It's good enough. I think I get rid of Senjin. Alright. That's rough because that's like the first change that I've made that I'm not sure whether or not it actually improved my deck. Which means we're getting close to pretty much the final version of the deck. Before adventures, at least. Or without, like, substantial upgrades. What's the reasoning for taking out Senjin over something like Holy Smite? I feel like it's self-explanatory, but... And it's difficult to explain it in a way that isn't condescending. But I want to kill something in the early game. Mm -hmm.